If the president chooses to close the border, it could have a major impact on Arizona's economy. Arizona's trade with Mexico is a $16 billion industry with even amounts flowing into, into and out of the United States. And that's not even taking into account the benefit to shopping on border towns' economies. Tucson Police Department stations are giving away free gun locks today. TPD says the easiest way to prevent firearm accidents at home is to secure those guns. Officers also say kids can take the Project Child Safe Pledge, where they promise not to touch unattended firearms and tell an adult if they see one. Also happening today, a meeting at the Ward 1 City Council office is being held to talk about further changes to A Mountain. Recently reduced speed limit signs were installed on the mountain, posting a 15 mile per hour limit. This comes after community concerns about safety on A Mountain for bicyclists and pedestrians. Well, Giving Tuesday could be a way for you to give back to the community. Well, that's right, but before you do that, the Better Business Bureau says you need to be careful who you give to. Not on your sides, Veronica Acosta has more from our newsroom with that. Veronica, good morning. Hey, good morning. Every single year, people donate to thousands of different charities for Giving Tuesday. And this year, the Better Business Bureau, they're saying that with so many different scammers out there, you're going to really want to be careful and really do some extensive research on some of those nonprofits and those organizations and those charities. Now, they say that you're going to want to be very careful if somebody calls you over the phone. You don't want to donate that way. You also don't want to donate if somebody comes knocking on your door. They say the easiest way to make sure that your charity or organization is legitimate is by logging on to the Give.org website. There is over 11,000 different charities on there that are accredited by the Better Business Bureau, making it simpler for you to know whether or not your money is going into the right hands. For now, reporting from the newsroom, Veronica Acosta, Kega 9, on your side. Okay, thank you so much, Veronica. Now let's head over to Taja Davis, who's in for April. Good morning, Taja. Good morning, Whitney. Basically, what we're going to be seeing here, we're going to see a high of 75 degrees for today. We're going to stick into the mid-70s for the rest of the work week until we get to Friday. Friday's moon is going to cool down and drop more than 10 degrees down to 63 and possibly stay that way going into the weekend and starting the word week. Now, one last thing to really mention about the seven day forecast is that Thursday evening, we should be expecting a 40% chance of rain showers coming in, and that might go ahead and spill over into Friday with a 20% chance of that.